Let me give you a brief introduction of our products. Our OAD products consists of three main parts. The first part is a 5 to 30 km optic fiber drive. The second part is the Sky N. An integrated unit mounted at the rear of the fiber drum. The third part is the ground end. Now, let me walk you through how each module works. Starting with the sky end. This is the optic fiber port, where we plug in an FC fiber connector. And this is the TTL interface which transmits control signals to the flight controlling system. Now let's move on the fully functional ground end. The yellow port on the right is for its power input. The middle TTL port works just like the sky end. The black is network port for data cable connections. This switch lets you select between wireless mode W by flipping up or wired mode by flipping down. The second switch controls the drone protocol. Flip up for cursive, or down for spy eye. Here's a port for video output. And the ground end also includes its own optic fiber port. So those are the three main parts. Here is a 15-inch drone we used to mount the sky end. This is our fiber spool. The inner surface is extremely smooth to ensure zero resistance. As you can see here, I've connected this 5 km spool with 0.8 kg. Here it's carrying the integrated sky end. This is roughly a general overview. Here I've assembled it. This is a 5-inch test drone. The flight controlling system has been installed. The sky end connected. And the drone is powered by onboard batteries. As you can see, we've connected the FC optical port onto the integrated sky end. The ground end connects through its optic fiber ports as well. This is the video cable we mentioned earlier, which connects to a monitor by BNC connector, and the camera delivers a clear image here. The grounded end is powered by a small external battery. This network cable outputs data to the DSC port of our flight controller. Finally, the entire system is fully integrated and operational. That's the basic setup and workflow of the Fiber Flight Control System.